Hey everyone, it's Hoff. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you how I mix the drums of my track Dark Passenger. So let's get started. So for the tutorial I reduced the arrangement to the drums and the bass line. Um, we will go through channel by channel. Let's first listen to the whole drumming. As you can see, there's not much going on. It's only 11 channels of drums. Um, let's first turn off all the plugins. We will put them on step by step. And then let's get started with the fundamental, the kick drum. No plugins at all. It's straight the sample I used. Great. Next up to the toms. They are used to plug-in alliance SSLE for channel variations. And the Shadow Hill Mastering Compressor. Now together with the kick. You can hear it's subtle, but it's giving a bit of a groove. Next up, closed heads. And again, I used the SSLE channel for the variations. Give it some bit more of attack. Saturation. And lots of compression. Shaker loop. Again, the SSL channel strip. Then some saturation. It's a free plugin, by the way. And my favorite EQ by plugging Alliance. As you see, I unlinked it and used different settings on the left and the right channel to give it a bit more room. Open heads. Very basic. Pan to the left side. Bit of compression. And a bit more room. Shaker. Remove a bit of the low ends and the mids. Give back a bit more of the mids with another plug-in. Then remove the bit of reverb, as um, yeah, it already got too much reverb on it. Another shaker. There I use the SSL 9000, this time with EQ and dynamic. Saturation with the black box, it's a really great plugin, I'll use it a lot. Then more EQ to tame the mids. Added a plate reverb. Bit more of attack. And another EQ to remove the harshness out of the high mids. Basic 909 right. And I use the mid side EQ here uh, with different settings on the mid section and the side section. And then there's the snare hit. Pen to the right side. Added some distortion. Lots of attack and removed a bit of the sustain so it gets more snappy. Nice reverb tail. Again the EQ to give it some more highs and make it more clear. 
my channel thing again. Bit more transient attacks and compression. Now this is how all drums sound together. But as you can see, I also have a drum bus where I put all the hi-hats through. Gets a bit of saturation. Bit more of that Neve mojo. Then a side chain. And a bit more EQ to make it focus in the mix. Now all together. And when I now turn off all the plugins on the drum bus, it sounds a bit boring. It's missing that glue and it makes it help to sit better in the mix. Well, that's it. This is how I mix the drums of Dark Passenger. I hope you guys enjoy and found some tips that you can make your drums pop out in the mix. And see you next time.